One of the things that I often hear uh, from, from patients when they come in for a consultation is, hey, my buddy had radiation therapy 10 or 15 years ago and it was not a good experience for them. So I'm kind of expecting if I choose radiation therapy, I'll have some of those side effects and go through those same processes. And so I tell them that, you know, within that time period, you know, the past 10 years or so, that there have been a couple uh, breakthroughs that have allowed us more accurately and precisely locate the target and treat the target, uh, avoiding some of those side effects that would have happened 10 years ago. One of those technologies is what we call image-guided radiation therapy. So there's two different parts to it are types of image-guided radiation therapy. We can implant fiducial markers in the target and line up to those markers each time we treat the patient by doing a, an x-ray immediately prior to the treatment. Or we can do what's called a cone beam CT or CBCT. In that process, we have arms that are mounted to the treatment machine that actually rotate around the patient that perform a quick uh, CT scan and we layer that daily CT scan to the original CT scan and use that to line up to within one to two millimeters of the target. The IMRT works. There's about 120 different little fingers inside the machine where the radiation passes out as it comes to the patient. The finger positioning is determined by the contouring that we did with the patient and, and saying, hey, this is our target, this is not our target. This is where we want dose, this is where we don't want dose. So as the machine rotates around the patient, those fingers move independently to modulate and shape the dose depending on the constraints that we gave the tissues that are inside the uh, pelvis uh, that we contoured. Those two technologies allow us to accurately find the target and line up to it every day and also deliver the treatment in an accurate fashion that allows a, a larger, more complete dose to the target and lower the dose to the surrounding organs and tissues.